And so men feel like, well, women don't care for us anymore. They don't respect us. They don't need us. They don't care for us. They're treating us like crap. And this is the endless jokes of, you know, the dumb female and the smart male, you know, or in Stranger Things. I just did a review of that recently. You should check it out. There's a scene in a family where the boy is asking the father, what do you do when you do something wrong with mom? He says, uh, I apologize. And then she buys whatever she wants. And then the son says to the father, what do you do when mom's wrong? And the mom leans in like, mm -hmm. You're going to be in trouble for this? And he's like, your mom's never wrong, son. You know, I mean, this is this childish. This is, this is, uh, that, that, that's how you treat a three-year-old. That's a great picture of a tree when it's not, but you know, she's, he's three. Saying that someone's never wrong and someone like listening to that and accepting it, that the man's always wrong, the woman's always perfect. That's horrible. I mean, it's horrible behavior. It's, it displays a complete lack of, a capacity for self-criticism, a lack of empathy, a lack of, a reasonable assessment of one's own abilities that we're all wrong sometimes, of course. I mean, can you imagine if I, as, oh, as a public intellectual, I'm always right and everyone else is always wrong. I mean, that would be considered narcissistic and megalomaniacal and vain. And I mean, it would just be horrible. And, but you know, you can apply this to women as a whole and women don't sit there and say, what do you mean we can't be wrong? What kind of scam are you trying to pull on us? They're like, oh, uh-huh, we can't be wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 